Let's now take a look at the various components of a window. Frame is the outer of the window, one that opens either on hinges or slides back and forth is the sash or the vent. UPVC windows also have steel reinforcement inside, so that's a component of a UPVC window. Transoms and mullions, we have explained this. A transom is a horizontal member inside a window. A mullion is a vertical member in a window. And then we have hardware like the handles, locking points, locking strips, locks, cylinders, that's the hardware. Accessories like wool pile for sealing of uh, sliding windows or EPDM gaskets. These are the accessories and then the glazing or the glass in the window. Typically frames, the profile for casement or fixed would look like the English alphabet L, capital L. As you see here, it looks like an L. For sliding, for a two track slider, this is one track, this is the second track. For a two track slider, the profile looks like the English alphabet U. This is a three track slider and here this is one track, this is the second track, that's the third track and it looks like the letter English alphabet capital W. What you see over here is a two track frame and this portion is a track on which there will be a bug net sash, an insect screen can move on this track so we call it normally a two and a half track. Casement sashes, the inward opening sash is in the shape of the English alphabet Z. This is an inward opening sash. The outward opening sash is in the shape of the English alphabet capital T. This is an outward opening sash. Doors and windows have different profiles. Of course, doors and windows are a notional concept. Uh, when you have a smaller item, it's a window, you use a thinner profile. The moment you have a bigger item, you use a bigger, thicker profile for more strength. So this becomes a window profile and this becomes a door profile while you may have a window which is the size of a door which would be using this kind of a profile. Let's now have a look at how an assembly of these profiles looks like. You see if you look at this drawing closely, here is the shape L. This is the capital L, English alphabet L. So this is the frame, it's a casement frame, right? Now here is the glazing, wherever you see this drawing with a small extension here, then this is the glazing bead. So this is the glass and this is the glazing bead which holds the glass in place. If you don't consider this, the rest of the profile is in the shape of the English alphabet Z. So this is an inward opening window it would be opening towards this side, this is the inside and this is the outside of the window. Let's have a look at the outward opening windows. This as you see is the frame part which is the English alphabet L. Okay. Now here this is the glazing, this is the glazing bead which holds the glass in place because of this you can identify this as the glazing bead. So suppressing this the rest of the profile is in the shape of the English alphabet T. This is the top of the T and that's the vertical of the T. So if it's a T shape profile, it's an outward opening, which means the window will be opening outwards. This is outside, this is inside the building. For sliding sashes, the basic shape would resemble the English alphabet small h. This is the small edge or this is the small edge. Let's have a look at the general assembly drawing of a window here. This is a two track frame which is in the shape of the English alphabet U. This is an extension of the frame on which there is a small sash which is a bug net sash. So this is a two and a half track slider. Then this is the glass, if you look closely this is the glazing bead 
this member in the glazing bead shows which is the glazing bead. Here, this is the glazing bead. Okay, so suppressing that the rest of the thing here is in the shape of the English alphabet small h. So these are the two sashes, the bottoms. Then we go to the top. After the glazing bead, again you have the same sash here, the English alphabet H, only it's mirrored because it's at the top of the frame. Here is the next sash. This you see here is the sash for the bug net screen or the insect screen. Then as you see here, the two and a half track frame, it's mirrored here. That's the two and a half track frame. Now here it is coupled to, it is screwed on to another portion here. Your slider window ends here. Okay, two and a half track slider window ends here. What you see over here is again the glass, the glazing bead because of this member. Suppressing that, the rest of the thing looks like the English letter, English alphabet, capital L. So this is a casement frame, which means this is a fixed portion.